Hello, how you doing? So today's workout is gonna be a little combination of everything. It's gonna start in a cardio series, and then we're gonna move on to the floor where we're gonna attack the glutes and the abs. While we're standing and doing some cardio, you're gonna feel the arms a little bit. I'm choosing today to use some light weights. They're usually ankle weights, but you can also put them on your wrist. These are one and a half pounds. If you have any light weights, one pounds, two pounds, please no more than three. You want to grab those. If you have ankle weights that can be used as wrist weights, grab those. If you don't have weights at all, you can grab two water bottles, okay? Just make sure that they're not frozen, otherwise your hands are going to freeze. <laughs> all right, so I am going to have these on already, just so I don't have to break after we've done the warm-up. All right, so to begin, gently take your legs out wide. Let's anchor our bodies. We're gonna begin with four big deep breaths. Inhale, rise. And exhale, bend. Gentle breath. Inhale up. And exhale down. Two more. Take it up. And down. Last one. Take it up. And down. Good. Standing in place. Start to kick your butt with your feet as your arms are going back. Now, if you have those wrist weights on, be mindful here. Your chest is open. Strong, engaged arms. Now, with your heels, you're trying to actually kick your butt. Your tailbone is under, right? So you're not overarching in your back. Keep that tailbone under. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands on your hips mini squat and stand. So here, check in with your form. Make sure your feet are about hip width or a little bit wider than hips. As you go down, you're sitting back into a chair. You're driving through your heels as you come back up. Down and up. Good, two more. Now on this next one, I want you to hold it down. And I want you just to lift one heel to warm up your ankles. Shoulders are pulled back and then switch to the other leg. And then switch and keep going like that. So how low you go is dependent on how you're feeling today, but never should it sacrifice what your upper body is doing. You wanna keep your chest up. You're also pushing into the big toe all the way to the pinky toe. Waking up those ankles, working through the flexibility. Good, you have about eight seconds. Now, I don't care which heel is lifted, but hold one up and pulse it down. Pulse. And now as you're doing that, I'm just going to tighten this one up because this one's driving me nuts. If something's already driving me nuts, it's going to drive me nuts throughout the whole workout. There we go. In five, four, three, two, hold it there and switch. Pulse. So notice that your knees are not going forward. You're sitting back in the heel. Five, four, three, two, one, come to stand. Standing bicep curls. So whether you're holding light weights or you have the wrist weights on, your knees are soft, your ribs are engaged. So think of those two bottom ribs slightly closing in towards each other. Your abs are strong, your chest is open. Side lateral, out and in. Now, side lateral. Arms, hands go slightly forward in front of the shoulders. They stop just slightly below the shoulders or at shoulder height. Engage even on the way down. Now going up, go halfway down and lift, halfway down and lift. Remember, we're just in the warm up phase. You're connecting to your body here. Good. Now hold it up, 10 seconds. Strong arms. You got this. Four, three, two, one, and start to push side to side. So my palm is open. Now we're getting a little heat going on in the body. In 10 seconds, this is gonna lead us into the start of our work. We're gonna do six moves, two rounds. In four. Ready? Follow me, jumping jacks, arms up arms down, arms up, good. Now I'm gonna to turn to the side slightly so you can see that. My arms are pushing out at a diagonal and then they go down at a diagonal, slightly behind my body. 
Now, if you don't want to jump, you can take one leg out to the side. Right? Do what works for you. Breathe. Ten. Strong arms. Five. And break. Very good. Now you're going to bring your hands together, interlacing them. So if you have the weight, bring those weights together. Your legs are wide. Watch me real quick. Knees are soft. You're going to go chop, chop, then get low, chop, chop. Ready? Go. Now keep your chest up even when you get low. The work is happening in the waist. Abs and tight. Oh, feels so good, doesn't it? Define good, Kip, because a burrito tastes good. <laughs> a movie is good. I don't know about this. <sighs> good. Say hello when you can. You have 10 seconds. Chop, chop. Move through that waist. <sighs> In three. And rest. Whoa. Okay, now you're going to choose one leg. Make sure you remember which leg it is because you're going to do the other one on the other round. You're going to go four reps lifting the knee, then lean over, four flies to step out. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, then tap as you fly your arms. So the same leg that lifts. One, two, three, four. Taps out. Chest up. Keep going. Try not to lean back on the body here. Stay tall. Ten seconds left. Let's try to at least get one more in. Here we go. Oh my gosh. You have three seconds. Try to get one more in. Just speed it. Here we go. Four, three, Two, I was just messing, good job. Take a little rest. Now, the leg that was lifted is gonna be the leg that's forward coming into a, a lunge position. Your feet are hip width apart or slightly wider, get low, hold this. Good, abs in tight, shoulders back. Bring your hands together down by the back leg. Chop up over the shoulder and then back down. So you're holding this isometric lunge as you're working through the waist and breathe. Good, and if you want to get lower, you can, right? So you challenge that leg. Just make sure that the majority of the energy is in the front heel. Think 80-20 split, 80% in the heel, 20% in the ball of the foot. 10 seconds left. I'm not seeking perfection, I just need you to do it. And to the best that you can today. Last one, and rest. Woo, okay, I was feeling that. What do I have next? Oh, right, 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 right. Two more, okay. Here we go, you're in a low squat. Your arms like this. You're gonna push out and in. Ready, go, out and in. Now, if you don't wanna jump, you can go side step squat, side step. Now, notice I'm in two fist positions with my hands. I'm working the shoulders. The elbows are going straight up in line with the shoulders. My wrists stay in line with my elbows. Get low. You're doing great. I had a little mental blip there. I couldn't remember what my next move was. <laughs> 10 seconds. It happens. Last five. Squeeze those inner thighs. One more. And very good. Rest. Your last move of this round. Ooh, who's feeling that? Me, me, me. You're gonna jog in place. Okay, ready? In three, two, one. All right, jogging in place. Now, you do what you want with your arms. You can go for mini punches. You can go bicep curls, okay? You could do again that same move we just did. You can also just choose to keep them down. 
if you need that little breather. Because the next move that's coming up, we're going right back to those jumping jacks. So if even jogging like this doesn't feel good, heel tap it. Woo! How are we feeling? I feel like I'm motivating myself right now because I ain't feeling this. 10 seconds, you're doing great. In five. And rest. All right. So the next move again to remind you, we're doing jumping jacks where the arms go up, bend, down, and bend. We're going to start that in five seconds. In four, three, two, one, and let's go. Now, in this one, your hands can be open or they can be shut. Whichever feels the most comfortable. Just really work those arms. Be deliberate. When the arms push up, feel the shoulders. When they push down, feel your back and your triceps working there. You got it. Last 10. Five. And rest. All right, next one is ab chop, where you go side, side, down, down. This time I'm gonna start this way. Woo! So, four, three, two, hands together. Go side, side, low, low. Good. I'm so curious to know what music you're playing right now. Feel free to send me your playlist on Instagram. Curious. I want to know. Here we go. Ten. Five seconds. Last one. Break. The next move, four knee lifts. Remember, it's the other leg. And that same leg taps out with a back fly for four. Let's begin in three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, tap, side tap. Next time, remind me to open up a window in this room. <laughs> Hi, Iris, I'm filming a video, sweetie. That was my stepdaughter. Did you hear her voice? One, two, three, four, side. Up. 10 seconds. Last one. And reps. Now the leg that was lifted is going to be, sorry, that leg's going to be forward. I almost said the wrong thing. Step it back. You're in a low lunge, arms together, get low, get low, and hold for a moment. Make sure that knee is not going over the toes, your abs are pulled in tight, and begin chopping up over that shoulder and down. Now feel free to stay looking forward if you find that balance is super tough or you can follow your hand. This is absolutely working the core. That work through the waist, getting low in the leg if you can. You can also choose to be up higher and just focus on that chop. Ten seconds. Five seconds. And rest. All right, the next one, if you remember, we're in a low squat. When you jump out, your arms go up and you're in. Okay, we'll start it in five. If you notice I'm still I'm looking down this way, I have a timer right in front of me to keep me honest. Ready? And go. Out and in. Light on the body, chest is up. 
When you go out, you try to get lower, squeeze through the inner thighs. Landing toe ball heel, toe ball heel. Abs in tight. You got it. Last 10. Going five. And rest. Okay, the final thing. We're just gonna jog in place and then we come down to the floor to do some glute work. Wow, that one hits me every time. How are you feeling? In five, four, three, two, and just jog in place. I'm gonna start to take off these wrist weights. For those of you that are wearing these and wanna transfer them to your ankles for the next round, you can. I'm not gonna wear them because I wanna make sure that those of you at home who are not wearing them, I can gauge properly. Remember, you can punch those arms, you can do bicep curls, or you can just do what I'm doing and let your body simmer. 10 seconds. In five. All right, and rest. Pull out your mat if you haven't already. Grab some water if you'd like. This is a great time to do that. And let's come on down to the floor. Nice work, nice work. So I'm sorry if my mat feels, looks a little uneven on camera. It shouldn't, but it might. Again, we're not seeking perfection. Now, I'm gonna have you come to your hands and your knees. If you need some more support for your knees, you want to fold up your yoga mat, I'm actually going to do that. Because it just always feels better for me. And I don't know if you, a lot of you remember, but I had knee surgery a little bit ago. All right, so from here, you're on all fours. Your knees, I'm sorry, your shoulders are right over your wrists. Your hips are right over your knees. And your knees are hip width apart. Your spine is neutral, your abs are pulled in tight. You're gonna take the leg that's closest to me and extend it out at a diagonal. So notice that I'm just outside of my hip and my toes are pointed. My toes are also, my pinky toe is slightly turned up to the sky, but my shoulders are pointing down. From there, pull the abs in and start to lift the leg up and down. Now the tendency in this move is to sink deeply into the opposite arm. Try to stay strong in that arm and try to keep equal energy between both arms as you're lifting that leg. So I'm not as concerned about how high it goes, it's more about are you feeling it? Squeezing that outer thigh, keeping the abs pulled and tight. You're doing great. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. The last ten. Get ready for the hold. And on the next one, hold it up. I want you to bend the leg, open up the knee even more. Abs are pulled in tight. Drop it ankle to ankle. So the knee is open and it lifts and down. So where I'm lifting from right now is my outer thigh. Did I just hit my plant? What did I just hit? My painting? <laughs> Whoops. Flying leg. And up and down. Okay, now check in with your upper body. Are you sinking into the shoulders? Try to stay lifted, shoulder blades down the back. 30 seconds. Good, 15. You have one more thing coming up. Last five. Hold it up, turn the foot up to the sky. So now your hips are pointed down, your abs are pulled in, little circles of that knee, but never are you opening the knee out to the side. 
The knee and the thigh stay pointed down to the floor as you're circling up. So now you're really getting in the base of that glute. And you want to take note that if you're sinking into your lower back, draw your tailbone under a little bit as you circle. I'll let you know when to reverse. Strong upper body. All right, let's reverse direction. Up and around. Small. Imagine so that heel is trying to touch the ceiling gently, not pushing it, just a light tap. Smooth and controlled. 15 seconds. 10. In three, two, one, and relax. Quick child pose, knees wide, arms extended. Roll out your wrists for me. Whichever direction you're doing that, reverse it. And now we're gonna switch sides. So, extending the other leg, coming onto all fours. And from there, the leg is outside of the hip. Toe is slightly, uh, pinky toe turned up and begin lifting up and down. If at any point the upper body just cannot take it anymore, please come down onto your forearms. You're still gonna get the work, it's just a little le less pressure, okay? And just really, really engage those ribs and pull them up. Keep going, you're doing great. Try to make sure, I just had to remind myself of this, that your triceps are not pointing outward, but in. You have 15 seconds, and then we're gonna move into the second move of three. And you're breathing. Five seconds. Good, now hold this up and just bend the leg, ankle to ankle, knees open, abs up, lift. Remember, you're lifting from the outer thigh. It's not as much about lifting from the ankle. Your posture doesn't change shape, right? You don't sink into the lower back. So the range of motion will look smaller, but it's more deliberate, which I always appreciate. I like deliberate action in life. As I get older, I'm not so into those big, grandiose gestures. <laughs> I like the small ones that count. Put that in your pocket. <laughs> I haven't talked to myself in a camera in a long time. <laughs> I'm a little rusty, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. <laughs> Eight seconds. You feeling the opposing cheek? Yeah, I thought so. Hold this up. Knees pointed down. Hips are parallel. Little circles up and around. Squeeze that glute. Oh my gosh. Hey butt. Hey butt. Hi butt. Get it? Get it? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Please don't turn me off. <laughs> you have to finish this workout. All right, and reverse it. I love working on the glutes because it helps give you a strong back. So important. Last 10. Ow, and rest. Okay, quick child's pose. Let those wrists go, circle them out. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, we're gonna come down now onto your back. Now, if you have those ankle weights still on, feel free to keep them on for this core work. If it ever feels too much on your back, you do wanna take those off. It's just add weight you don't need. Plus, remember that your shoes, if you're wearing them, are also adding weight as well. All right, coming down. From here, hug your knees into your body. Rock side to side, take a breather. You're gonna take your legs up into tabletop position, arms by your side. If you don't know tabletop, 
Knees in line with your hips, heels slightly above your knees. Heels are going to tap down towards the floor and then draw back in, stopping right at your hips. Inhale down, exhale up. Now, as you're doing this, you want to do your very best to keep a still torso. Now, a lot of people say tuck their pelvis in. I actually prefer a slight long torso where you feel almost like there's a tiny little vegetable pea underneath your lower back and you don't want to smash it, but you're so aware that it's there. And so there's just this tiny, tiny touch to the pea, right? But you're not pushing your back into the mat. There's a difference. Give me two more. Last one. Very good. Now, hugging one leg into your body, hug that knee and extend the opposite leg. How low you go today is up to you. Depends on the strength of your back. Come into a crunch position. Shoulders down the back, knee towards your nose, and then switch. Now, if at any point this bothers your neck, you keep your head down. You also have the option, again, lifting your legs up higher. You're still getting the work in the abs. And as you draw the knee in, you're getting the stretch of the hips, which in turn helps to release the back. Breath. Inhale for two. Exhale for two. You're doing great. You have 15 seconds. Last eight. Three, two, hug both knees, rest. Now for this next one, if you want to keep your head down for a little bit, just to give it a little rest, you can. Otherwise, come back to your crunch position, holding both knees. This time, the arms go back by the ears. Both legs extend, and then circle the arms, hug the knees. Inhale back, exhale in. You can also choose to just have your hands behind your head and extend the legs and draw in. And then, of course, if you need to go a little gentler today, the legs go up higher to the sky, draw in. Always thinking length through the waist, Draw the abs down. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw in. 15 seconds. Last five. And relax. Very good. Take one leg up to the sky. It doesn't matter which one. Try to find as much length as possible as you grab behind that leg. You should feel a hamstring stretch here. Extend the other leg. It doesn't have to go super low. Come into a crunch position. Holding this, you pulse in twice with that leg. One, two, then switch. One, two. Now, again, if your neck bothers you, head is down and the legs can be up higher to the sky. You're still going to get the work. Those of you that want to take it up a notch today, hands behind your head. Pulse, pulse. Pulse, pulse. That doesn't feel good for me today, so I'm not going to do it. Shoulders away from the ears. Feel the core draw in towards the spine. Last 10. Four. And rest. Woo! Okay, this time you're going to take both legs up to the sky, Pilates V. So if you don't know what that is, heels are together, toes are apart in a small V position. Take them up. If you want to place your hand underneath your butt, you can to support your back. Otherwise, come into a crutch position, hands behind the head. The legs go down and up. Now, I'm not looking for the legs to go all the way down to the floor. A small range of motion is completely sufficient to feel the lower abs working. Squeeze the heels. The legs go down. Draw the abs in to draw them up. If you're off your shoulder blades, try to stay really lifted off those shoulders. Here we go, last 10. One more, and relax. That was very painful. <laughs> All right, come on up to sit for me, please. 
Your feet are down, so instead of doing crisscross as we normally would after that series, we're gonna have our hands in a fist position. You're gonna go flat back, lean back till you feel your abs working, and then gentle twist side to side, side to side. Now, if you can lean back more to get your elbows down, go for it. And if this doesn't feel super awesome on your back, you wanna be higher up and just focus on that rotation. For those of you that want to take it up a notch, lift your feet. Try to get your heels as high as your knees. Now, for me personally, I feel it more in my core with my heels down. Last 10. Three, two, one, and relax. I'm sure you can feel this in your body right now. There's a lot of work here. It almost feels like a contraction. So I want you to flip over onto your stomach. We're gonna do a little bit of extension just to reverse that to even out this routine before we stretch. You're gonna come down on to your stomach. Your legs are hip width apart, if not a little bit wider. Your hands are underneath your shoulders, closer towards your ribs, elbows in. On an inhale, I want you to rise up into a mini cobra, reversing the direction of the spine. And then when you drop down, you lift your legs up just a little bit, almost like a teeter-totter. You lift, inhale, exhale, drop, and lift your legs. So here you should feel the stretch, the extension, and when you go down, you should feel the back of the legs engage. Give me three more to finish. Last one. Sit back into a child's pose to begin our stretch series. Nicely done. Deep breaths. All right, from here, I want you to come to sit and just try to copy me. So this is my left leg, but I'm sure if you're mirroring me, it will be your right leg. So your right leg is forward, your left leg is behind you. And then from here, you're gonna take that, see that right arm back and lift, open up the body and then drop it down, grab the ankle and reach the opposite arm up and over and just continue like that. Lift and down and up. Two more. Last one. And let's switch sides. Other leg forward. And reach. And down. Two more. One more. And very good. Come to a seated position, soles of the feet together for your butterfly stretch. So from here, try not to go like this with your knees, as fun as it is. <laughs> Just try to let them really rest open. And take your chest up, holding onto your feet if that feels okay for you. Inhale, and with your heart, guide forward. And just drop gently, whatever feels comfortable for you. Now, you'll notice when we did one of the ab series, you were getting a hamstring stretch. So I accomplished that hamstring stretch there. If at any point throughout this workout, you feel like you need, I mean, after this workout, excuse me, you feel that you need more stretching, you can find one of my stretch videos online. You can also just choose to do your own stretching. Uh, working on a foam roller is a great idea. Make sure to drink tons of water. And now come to sit however feels comfortable for you. We're gonna close with, as we began, sandwiching the two together with four big deep breaths. Inhale, rise. Exhale down. Notice the quality of your breath, how it's different. Inhale up. Exhale down. 
Deepen that inhale for me up. And down. Last one. Take the arms up on that inhale. Palms come together. Bring the hands to your heart. Exhale. Bow. Closing your eyes. And from in this moment, and in this moment, I want you to silently tell yourself one thing that you are so grateful for in your life. And silently express to yourself one thing in your life that you wouldn't change for the world. Oh, I just felt that. I felt that from all of you. Ah, oh, that was wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I'm going to be more regular on here. I want to say thank you for your patience with me in this last year as I took a little bit of a hiatus. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but if you do, you would know the story. But if you don't, I uh, embarked on a new journey this year where I wrote and directed my very first feature film called Isabel's Garden. And I'm still in post-production, but it was a quite a journey, an incredible journey, and I can't wait to share more. But that's where I've been. But as I've been coming out of my bubble, I'm so happy and ecstatic to return back to you. Thank you for your patience with me. Thank you for this community. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. You can like this video if you wish to do so. You can comment below letting me know what you'd like to see more of. And I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm grateful for you.